Hi, this is Paul Evans from NicheOlogy.com. We're continuing on this series of questions that were turned in in a recent survey. And question two is, is related kind of to question one, what is the best way to build a good list? What is the best way to build a good list? Yesterday's question was, uh, what's the best source of free traffic? Well, to answer this question, it'll be a three-part video series. Not that any video will be excruciatingly long, but it'll be easier to break it down. But if you're going to build a good list, and that's really the, the key word, good and best, <clears throat> if you're going to do that, then there's basically three concepts to keep in mind. Number one, where are these people coming from? Number two, where are these people going? And number three, what are they going to do when they get there? Now, ironically, we're not starting with where they're coming from. We'll look at that tomorrow. But today, we want to look at where they're going. Because if you can determine where they're going, then you can determine where you need to intersect with them, where you need to get their attention in the first place. So let's start there with building a good list. And we'll probably do four parts, actually, because the last day we'll talk about maybe forced opt-in, whether to do a forced squeeze page or whether to do an optional squeeze page, pop-ups, hovers, slide-ins, things like that. So we'll do that on the, the fourth deal. So this is part one. Where are they going? Who are these people? This they. Where they're going. And how quickly do they need to get there? Not only where are they going, but how fast do they need to get there? So let's look at a golfer. And let's look at... A bride. The golfer wants to add 25 yards to his drive. The bride wants to lose 10 pounds in two weeks before this wedding. We'll pretend that uh, something happened. She's already been sized, and due to unforeseen circumstances and many parties before the wedding, she's gained weight, can't fit in her dress. So this golfer, who is wanting to add 25 yards to his drive, he, he would love to get there by this weekend, but he doesn't have to get there because golfers know they're going to buy a bunch of junk, and some of it's going to work, and some of it isn't going to work. So the whole timeline here is really stretched for the golfer. There's not a sense of immediate urgency. Whereas for the bride, she's got two weeks and 10 pounds. She wants an answer right now. She is not gonna spend a lot of time getting to know you. She is not worried about being on your list forever. She has an immediate problem and wants an immediate solution. And some would even question whether you need to build a list here. I still think no matter what, you need to build a list. But if you are targeting yourself, not just for brides, but you are targeting brides who need to lose 10 or more pounds in two weeks, four weeks or less, then you're going to build a good list off of this because they have pre-qualified themselves. If you build a list of golfers very broad, which I think is extremely safe because almost all golfers have the same issues. They want to stop their slice. They want to hit the ball farther. They want to hit it more accurately. They want to make more putts. They want to beat their friends. Lower the golf score. This is an ongoing pursuit. It can be very, very broad. And here, It's going to be very, very specific. So that's the first question you need to answer when you're building a good list. Where are these people going and how long do they have to get there? So use that as the first dynamic. Tomorrow, we will look at where are these people coming from and that will help us narrow our concept a little bit more on building a good list and pre-qualifying this list before they're even added, and maybe a couple of tips on how they can pre-qualify themselves as well. Until then, this is Paul Evans for NicheOlogy.com. Success is not an accident.